and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some highlights for June 25. In this first video, I'll be covering a list of free assets, and next ones I'll be covering paid assets and tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. If you want to learn, then check out my free complete courses. I've already got a bunch of them that I plan on doing a bunch more in the coming months. I highly recommend you go through my C Sharp complete course. This one covers pretty much everything from the language, everything from beginner to intermediate to the advanced topics. Or for something recent, check out my DOTS course. This is a very advanced tool set, but if you are on the intermediate or advanced stage, this is something I highly recommend you learn about. Or in general, a great game for beginners is my Kitchen Chaos course. Make a really interesting game, and then a second free course all about taking that game and making it multiplayer. Also, if you want to stay up to date with what's going on in the industry, check out my Game Dev Report newsletter. This is a free newsletter where I cover the latest Game Dev news and any interesting articles that I come across. Things like a really awesome free VFX Unity ebook. I also wrote about how a janky game made $28 million. Or how much money do Steam developers actually keep. And I also write about some fun topics, like this trend where developers were posting it before and after, showing a really impressive result. So if you want to stay up to date, sign up for free with a link in the description. Alright, so on to the top 10 list, starting off with a nice simple tool to help you make a dynamic day-night cycle. This is one of those things that is quite easy and adds quite a lot to your game. The same environment with the exact same assets will look like a completely different place at either day or night, so it's just an easy way of having more environments. By implementing this kind of system, you pretty much have double or triple the environments in your game. This tool helps you easily create those day-night cycles. You can define the various parameters, like the ambient color, the sun color, and the background color, as well as the sun intensity, fog settings, and so on. You can find that for all the various times, like daybreak, midday, and sunset and night, and then the script will automatically interpolate all of those lights, all of those colors, in order to simulate the day-night cycle. So yep, really cool. Next up, for the fun visual one, here we have a pack with some fun cars. These are American sedans. You've got a taxi, a police car, and a standard one. Basically, if you want to make some kind of car driving game, then these would be a really great starting point. One thing I always love about the GTA games are the various jobs you can do. Like, for example, you can be a taxi driver or a police officer. So perhaps with this pack, you could make a minigame that is exactly all about that. You can take people to their destination in the cab or catch some criminals in the cop car. Then if you want to make a nice 3D platformer, here's a great starting point. Perfect for making a quick prototype. It's got some really nice blocky blocks. Those are all modular, so you can make pretty much any world you want. You've got a bunch of blocks, but then also some special traps, some levers, some doors, as well as, of course, some coins and keys. So you could take this pack, combined with a free character controller, and you can get a 3D platformer prototype up and running in just a few minutes. And up next, we have the Harky Focus Debug Console. Now, every once in a while, I see an asset that really makes me think Unity should really have this by default. And yep, this asset is just like that. It helps you see the logs on a per-object basis. So at a glance, you can just see which object is firing which messages. It shows a nice icon right next to it on the hard key, and you can filter the logs to only show messages from that one object. You can filter for just logs, or logs, and warnings and errors. It really is a simple thing, but something that does seem quite helpful. At a glance, you can just see which objects have messages. It's really nice and really great how this is actually a free asset. Then for some fun fire, here we have some effects. It's a simple fire effect with various colors. It looks quite nice. It's some interesting flames and particles. It's a simple pack, but if you need some fire, then here it is. And if you like this sound, then this tab also has tons more. Next up, here we have an interesting tool for UI Toolkit to help you fit your text. Basically, it adds auto-sizing to your text fields, meaning that as you scale that size up or down, as you scale the size of the actual window, it auto-scales the font size on the text itself. So that's interesting. But honestly, on this one, the main thing I thought about is how I think this is actually the first UI Toolkit plugin that I've seen, something that actually adds options onto the UI Toolkit menu. I've never seen something like this. So I think this free asset can actually be a great research asset. I'm guessing it includes all the source code. So if you want to expand upon UI Toolkit, you can grab this asset in order to learn how to do just that. And then if you want to make some isometric games, here we have a nice pack. You've got a bunch of grass, a bunch of rocks, and dirt. Importantly is how it has the perfect isometric tile size. So if you want to experiment with making an isometric game, then nothing like this can be really great for helping you build a prototype. If you want, you can use my grid system as a base and then expand upon it to support isometric tiles. Personally, I loved playing isometric games as a kid, so I'd love to try building a system just like that one day. And next, here we have a nice character modular pack. You've got all sorts of separate pieces. You've got boots, helmet, chest, legs, and a bunch more. Because it's modular, this one seems to be really great for a free pack. You can get hundreds or even thousands of variations with just this one pack. If you've never built a character customization system, then I would say get this and try it out. You can start from my character customization tutorial, which has some free downloadable project files. So you can use that, coupled with these assets. 
And with that, like I said, you can get hundreds or thousands of variations. Up next, if you're making a farming game, here's a nice UI pack. It contains lots of buttons, a bunch of sliders and icons. You've got a bread icon, wheat and a seeds icon. They all look with that nice casual UI style. So this one is a small pack, but you can use this as a great starting point to then expand upon. Or since summer is actually coming, maybe you can finally make a kind of beach game. Here's a texture pack for that. It's got some sand, you've got rocks, nature, sea, and a bunch more textures. In total, you have 12 beach themed textures. So maybe go ahead and make your own beach volleyball game, or perhaps some kind of lifeguard tycoon game. All right, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Asset Store for June 25. There's links in the description, and also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. All right, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.